Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. I remain the only voice of common sense here because Eurovision returns to the UK this week after 25 year absence. It's supposed to be, of course, in Ukraine, who won it last time, but uh, obviously Ukraine can't host it. So Liverpool has the dubious honour of being host city. Uh, and that's fine. And everyone I know seems to be wildly excited about this, apart from me, because I think Eurovision is a stain on humanity. Oh! Now, the first of two semi-finals was evicted on audiences last night ahead of the grand final on Saturday. Fans say Eurovision is a world-class festival of the arts, an exhibition of the best that pop music can offer. Recollections may vary. Take a look at this. My back, like a toss on my head. My pants are sharp, and my eyes are. We are, we are, we are. Go, baby! <laughs> that last act was called We Are the Winners from Lithuania. The one thing Lithuania's never won is anything. Um, unbelievable. I'm going to bring in now Sharon Osborne and Louis Wolf. Sharon's with me. Louis. <laughs> wherever Louis is, uh, the pair of them are going to try and... He's in Ireland, of course he is. They're going to try and persuade me that this ludicrous farce is actually a credible tournament. Louis, you go first. Try, come on. I say it's awful. Listen, I watched the semi-final last night. I know you do, but I think it's brilliant fun. I watch it every single year. There are some really good songs. You played all the bad ones. But there's some... ABBA came from it. Celine Dion, Johnny Logan, so many great people. It's light entertainment at its best, Piers. And you may not like it, but I love it. I think it... Honestly, Sharon... And I bet Sharon... Well, the thing is, it doesn't surprise me you like it. It's a Because when we did America's Got Talent together, you always put the nutty acts like that through. <laughs> and it was down to me, on behalf of the grateful American people, <laughs> to buzz them off. You love this crap. I oh, this do. Stuff. I do. It's not crap. It's it is. cultural. Because it's, it's not very, cultural. It is. It's very interesting to see all these different cultures and what they consider to be entertainment. And it's very interesting. Look, a little... You know the worst thing, thing about it? And I'm going to say this as somebody who what? went to Ukraine to interview President Zelensky and his, and his wife and have obviously done a lot of stuff about the Ukraine war. I really didn't like Ukraine winning it last year simply because the country's at war. And I good. don't... And I'm sure they're going to probably win it again this year for the same reason. The moment any competition to me goes into what I call just transparent virtue signalling. They weren't the best act. We all know that. Oh, behave. Of it's, course they Then were. it's not a competition. It's something else. It's like it's people just ticking boxes. No, it's people that like other people, Piers. No, it's and not. try and understand that. Well, you know the worst thing, Louis? I, I, when I went to Ukraine, I came through the train station to go back to Poland, and the train station manager yeah. gave me the hat that the winner of the Ukraine... That, that hat, he gave it to the train station guy in, in Kiev and signed it, and, he, and the guy gave it to me. Uh, and obviously, it was the last thing I wanted. I, I had to pretend to be happy. You should have put um, it on for a picture. But let's Somebody not pretend would that, love that it. Ukraine. That, look, I love Ukraine. I love Ukrainians. I want them to win this war. I don't want to see them keep winning competitions simply because they're at war. It's ridiculous. They only won last year. I mean, I voted for them maybe ten times last year. I wanted them to win because of what was you happening. Because you like was pretty people. good. All right, See? so should yeah. they win, should they win was, the Football World Cup song. as well, then? Yes. They should win everything, should yes. they? Yes, yes. Yes. OK. Let's, Piers, it was a good song. We listened to the songs. Sharon and I are in the music business. It wasn't a good, it so wasn't a good song. Like. It wasn't a good song. It was. I haven't was heard a, a good song, song on Eurovision, and it was a great I would say, since in... Since ABBA. <laughs> since ABBA. When was ABBA? 1970-something, <laughs> right? Celine Dion, Johnny Logan... Bucks Fizz, loads of people. Bucks I Fizz? Mean, I watched last night, there's some amazing... Bucks Fizz? You're citing Bucks Fizz? I thought, I thought that uh, Switzerland was good. Did you like Switzerland, Louis? I did, but I love Finland. I know he's a bit crazy, but I loved it. I also loved Israel. I thought it was absolutely She's good, brilliant. she's very... But I think the whole thing is probably the problem with win. It. My other problem with it is, it's a complete carve-up where all the countries basically look after their mates... None of it, none of the voting is genuine. <sighs> They'll often take the best song it and is. obliterate it because it's not from a country that's part of Piers, their little pact. Piers, 
you are wrong. The best song always wins. Always. Yeah, but the bar and is unbelievably the really low. Well last year. A, the bar is unbelievably low for that title, and B, the best song never wins. But it's about entertainment, Piers. It's about personality, it pres presentation, all of that. Well, let's see. This, this, this is the UK entry this year. Have a listen to some of this. Yeah, I know. Instead of Just get, please, get, stop that. Look, this is my point. This is my point about that. That is, that you hear that in every Euro trash disco at three in the morning when they want people to leave. They turn on that kind of stuff when they want no. to kick people out. No, no, it's she not... represents youth Here's, of today. No. That you think today yes, there's not does. a person under 50 who would listen to that and not think it's You're horrifying. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's for, it's it's for, for eight-year-old guys no, it's not. and their bimbo mistresses P to go and dance at Piers. in some nightclub in, in Lithuania at three in the morning. <laughs> that's what that's for. No. And the idea that you two <laughs> no, who do wrong. actually know it's... your music, this is what offends me. You, do. married to one of the great rock like stars in entertainment. history. entertainment. Weaned on rock music, your oh, father, one of the great rock managers, and you, Louis Walsh, produce some of the great pop bands of all time. The fact that you have straight faces because it's as you try and persuade me that this garbage is it's serious fun. music. I love it. You Listen, don't Sam Ryder won. He does, laughter. so do I. I do love it's it. entertainment. I do. Are you Listen, both going to watch Pierce, the whole I thing? On the Absolutely. Record? You're going to watch it. Are you Absolutely. Proud? Louis, what about and Ireland Thursday, not getting through? No, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. It okay. wasn't great. Oh, really? Um, there was a song at the Eurovision that Sharon. wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. Piers, there are some great songs. Neither of you believe a Give word a you're saying. You Absolute don't. Absolute rubbish. You do this we kind of do. thing to annoy people like no, me. You do. have a really no, gifted no. musical ear. No, no, it's not. It's about... It no. makes people happy. This is why I had to be the lead judge on America's Got Talent. Oh, boo. Because Sharon would go nuts and put these sort of acts through and I would have to then save the nation. Piers... There's a massive market, 150 million people can't be wrong. They can, and they are. It, the whole thing no, is a complete travesty. Not. It's, it's not, a travesty. The production it's not, is sensational. It's not, it's not. BBC have done a Fantastic. great job. It's amazing. The thing amazing. is un and, you know, Piers, it's, it's not just the songs. We watch for the clothes, the dancing, all the outrages yes. that go with the it. You don't know what's going to happen. All right, yes. just, just play me a little Shara, bit of the mashup you know. we played at the start, please. This is it's the clothes, it's the music, it's the whole the whole ensemble. Yes, it's there everything. Let's remind ourselves of that. It's everything. Here we go. I mean. See? Honestly, in a court of law, this is the moment that Ron Paul of the Bailey goes, I rest my case. <laughs> Literally, I rest my <laughs> no. case. Uh, I've got to leave it there, thank God. Two years uh, ago. No, 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 there's no more. Two there. years ago. You, you've, had a you've, you've both had a chance to persuade me. That's you have spectacularly failed. <laughs> it is utter nonsense. I will not be anywhere near a TV it's on not. Saturday night. Yes, and, you will. Uh, and that's it. We will. It. No, I won't. Yes, no you way. will. Louis, lovely to see you, though. And Sharon, lovely, lovely to see you. Bye, Piers. Always a pleasure, yes. never a chore. You're looking well, Sharon. And I know that off-camera, you'll both say to me, you know what, you're right. But that's what normally happens. That's no. That's the problem. That's no, the problem. No, no, not this time. I keep it real. Not this time.